So this course is a master's degree in sports and exercise nutrition. Um, it's an online master's and it's run part-time here at IT Sligo. So this course would appeal to a wide range of people, particularly those with an interest in working with sports people and around exercise uh, metabolism. So uh, sports scientists, exercise professionals, and nutritionists, um, dietitians, allied health professionals. So anybody with an interest in sport, particularly elite sport, but also the exercise aspect of um, nutrition. The course covers the, uh, the, the core areas of academic learning, so biochemistry and looks at the core macronutrients and looks at sports nutrition performance and nutritional assessment. So one of the core areas I suppose we look at are the, the core areas of fat, carbohydrate, metabolism. We also look at supplements. We look at the evidence and we look at the biochemistry of fat and carbohydrates and uh, protein and all the core. So nutrition and performance and the exercise aspect of nutrition. So applying the theory is really important in practice. So learning how to engage with, uh, with athletes, the communication skills. So those practicals are still run online through, through the online medium. So uh, learning the different communication skills, learning the theory and applying that to specific case studies in, in terms of different types of athletes and different athletic situations. Typically, graduates would have a degree, a science degree uh, with a nutritional background. Um, particularly, we're looking for um, a biochemistry basis because there's quite a bit of biochemistry in the course. We ha currently have graduates from sports science. We have graduates with degrees in nutrition, um, dietetics. We also have graduates from other allied fields of public health. The main career opportunities would lie in professional sport in terms of the likes of the IRFU or um, professional soccer across uh, across the water so there's quite a lot of opportunities in terms of guiding sports nutrition teams uh, disseminating clear evidence-based information um, there's also opportunities with governing bodies to design the nutritional recommendations and there's quite a lot of opportunities in research as well